Hi, I'm Elena Corchero. Today is the last Thursday of the month, so I have prepared for you a mashup of all the things that are so cool you need to hear about. And also to give you a sense of the new trends, where the future is heading in terms of science and technology. So stay with me and check it out. that is truly truly deeply important for me is that we can see more and more brands and technology being used for the purpose of caring about the environment and caring about other species for example microsoft talking to plants trying to understand better what happens in the chemistry inside a plant um, so that we can hear nature for sure you hear everywhere about how much waste ends up in the sea especially plastic so Adidas has decided to recycle a lot of these plastic nets to design a pair of trainers. Some of you might know that I actually was born in an island, so this is truly very, very close to my heart. And from the sea, I'm gonna take you to the first underwater band. This is a stage in five huge aquariums. The first show has been in Rotterdam, and it's just incredible. Can you imagine? Not singing in the shower, exactly, but singing underwater. You must see this. Dun, 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 dun. In terms of technology, there is really so much going on that I'm like, hmm, hmm, what can I choose for today? Biometrics are becoming much more accurate and much more secure. This means that even banks are starting to consider getting rid of passwords overall. On the contrary, something not to be so proud about is that the whisper, not the whisper, the gossip, gossip, okay, whatever. The rumors, the rumors. Of course, with the evolution of the phone, there is always some major changes, and this time it might affect the headphone jack. And come on, let's be honest, everybody uses this. What are we gonna do with all these devices? We're gonna have to buy new adapters. This happens all the time. It's unfortunate. I wish brands would plan ahead to make things in a way that they're more modular perhaps, but well, this is what we have. Ouch. Yes, of course I'm gonna tell you something about VR. Come on, <laughs> it's everywhere, right? So I'll be talking about it quite a lot probably during this series. And what I'm very interested in is how things are gonna move between VR and AR. So let's see what's happening. Um, right now, the news, the main news, is that, well, we're gonna start seeing uh, cinemas popping up. We have Amsterdam and Berlin, for example. Um, we see that in live events, companies are integrating VR as well. Not sure how that's coming together. I think the most important thing is that you can have a VR experience because you are missing the live event. Maybe not necessarily that you need both together, but well, this is happening in Glastonbury, for example and as well in the new stadium of Sacramento, which is gonna be wired to have VR devices all over so that you can enjoy the experience immersively while you are already immersed. Como de que va eso de que tienes que tener la experiencia inmersa cuando ya estás inmerso. Next, I'm gonna dare to mention 3D printing. Yes, you probably think, well, huh, that is kind of a thing of the past, Elena. And, well, you might be right. There is not so much buzz about it. The 3D printing, it's still there. It's still super important and it's still growing. But today, I just wanted to mention that a very important area that we have almost forgotten about is food. 3D printed food is just adding a beautiful touch to a lot of the decorative elements of eating and enjoying food. And it's just tasty, why not? Now, time to get serious. We need to talk legislation for when machines take over. Yes, not only the new scientist is talking about it, but Google has created its own laws for robotics, and it's quite interesting. Things like a robot should not make things worse, or a robot should not cheat. I mean, these things are quite... How does a robot have a sense of what's right and what's wrong, you might wonder. So it's a very interesting read, which includes that Robots should know that they are stupid. Are they? In any case, I have found for you the link to the draft report 
of the European Parliament of the Civil Law Rules for Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. Yes, it's right here. Another thing that is really, really growing is genetics. I'm sure you hear a lot about it. But uh, there is this thing where some people call genetics biohacking, some people call biohacking to the fact that you can improve your own body, your own mind. We're going to be talking about both. But I'm going to save all of that for another video because there is actually a very big surprise coming up. And well, that's all from me today. Leave any comments below. I want to know what you think about robotics, genetics, drones, you name it. Um, actually, I didn't mention the drones. I almost forgot, so look at the links. There is also some information about the new American legislation, how far, where, why you can use a drone. Quite important because I know many of you already have one with cameras, you name it. So please stay up to the law. And what else was I gonna say? Just leave any comments below. I wanna hear everything you think. I wanna prepare uh, the content in a way that is relevant to you. So I hope you feel today a little bit more Yo's team and um, see you next Thursday. Don't forget to subscribe.